12th of April was declared by the United Nations as the International Day of Aviation and Cosmonautics. On 12th of April 1961, a first man from this planet flew into space. It was Yuri Gagarin. He flew for 108 minutes, making a full tour around the Earth, but this full tour was very historical for all humanity. After Gagarin, many people flew into the outer space. Myself, I was the 103rd, 20 years after his flight. Now they are in the world a little bit more than 550 people that have been up there in the extraterrestrial uh, uh, environment. What is so important to fly into space? First, it's the need for exploration is the need to learn and to understand where from the humanity comes and what we can find out there, understanding much better what we have here on the Earth. The planet, it's an Earth, the planet Earth is just a planet in the solar system where the conditions for life existed and the life developed. Where from this life comes, we don't know yet. Maybe it was formed on the Earth, or maybe it came from the outer space. We investigate the space environment to learn more about the possibility of the people to live outside the home planet. Also, we explore the outer space for many applications. We use daily a lot of applications, even we don't believe how many they are, starting with the mobile phones, with the television, with the weather, with the positioning and navigation systems, and so on and so on. What is important for me in the outer space? I was the first Romanian flown into space in 1981. I flew for one week and I accomplished a lot of experiments on behalf of my country. We are a full community of astronauts and cosmonauts now. We gather in the Association of Space Explorers is the only professional association, non-governmental association, and educational association of quite all the astronauts in the world. We have more than 400 members in the association, registered starting with 1985 when we set up this organization. Now, Americans, Romanians, Russians, Japanese, Chinese, all Europeans, and all other astronauts from 37 nations gather together every year in a planetary congress, understand each other, find news about each other's activity, about the activity of their countries, and share same opinions about the protection of the environment and necessity of the education of the population for protecting the planet Earth, protecting not only for ourselves, but protecting also for the next generations. You are also very much involved in uh, the Asteroid Day, can you say a few words about uh, the importance of protecting our planet from asteroids too? Sure. You know, the solar system is characterized, between other things, by collisions. Collisions of uh, different uh, space bodies with the planet. The asteroids are the most popular space bodies that collide with other planets. And uh, we have also collisions with asteroids on the Earth. Uh, we just uh, may remember the 2013 when an asteroid fell down near Chelyabinsk, declaring about the asteroids uh, that fall down in uh, Siberia in uh, 1908. Uh, this uh, asteroid is the first one recognized by uh, the science as uh, living proofs that uh, were investigated by scientists. According to this date, 30 of June, when this asteroid fell down, we installed an asteroid day that is celebrated all over the world by uh, anybody, by different organizations, institutions, astronomical clubs, uh, groups of people. Asteroid Day was officially declared by the United Nations as an international day to be celebrated, marked by different educational events, scientific events, even cultural events, 
to inform people about the asteroids, about their activity, about the possibility of hitting the Earth and about what the scientific community does to avoid it. This is the Asteroid Day. I propose the Asteroid Day to the United Nations, to the UN Committee on the Peaceful Uses of Outer Space in February 2016. It was approved by the full committee in June 2016 and approved by the General Assembly of the UN in the fall of 2016. Always every year in Luxembourg, where now is registered the Asteroid Foundation, we organize a big event with 24-hour broadcasting all over the world with interviews, emissions, uh, shows about asteroids, about science with different very well-known people, and not only astrono astronomers, uh, astronauts, uh, and uh, scientific people, but also people from culture, from media, and from other fields of activity that share their views on this uh, day and on these activities connected with the asteroids. Humanity has uh, been to the moon and currently we have six astronauts uh, rotating around the Earth uh, on the International Space Station. What would be the next steps for humanity to explore with human spaceflight exploration? Uh, first, we fly around the Earth, so we continue to use the International Space Station, and in the future, starting with 2022, a Chinese space station, China invites the international community to take part uh, in uh, experiments done uh, at their future space station, and they even close an agreement with the Office for Outer Space Affairs in Vienna to select from developing countries, different types of experiment to be accomplished on their uh, space station. But we continue as the international community now to use the International Space Station. After that, we will restart the flights to the Moon. The Moon is a very important point in the universe because first we may explore the Moon, exploit the natural resources of the Moon, and in the same time to study the universe, to study the asteroids from the moon, the Americans intend to bring a boulder of an asteroid around the moon and to send a crew to study this asteroid, and also to train a lot of maneuvers for a future flights to Mars. Mars is a good training place for Mars. If a flight to the moon takes about three days, a flight to Mars takes seven months. And it's much more dangerous than a flight to, to the next uh, satellite of the Earth to the Moon. Astronaut Dorin Prunario, thank you very much for your interview today. And we look forward to having you with us again very soon. Okay, have a good day.